Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Our family just got back from a one-week vacation to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and a small part of Massachusetts. And uh, I'm still uploading videos of some of our adventures to my channel under the playlist, My Adventures, if you wanted to check any of that out. The thrifting that I did there, oh my gosh, so much thrifting. So many Goodwills, so many, so many Goodwills, um, and Salvation Armies. So I'm working on all of those videos, and I hope to have those up soon. I'm hoping to have one up tonight, but I don't know if that will happen. Today is Tuesday, uh, so we'll see. Also, my son, let me take a sip of coffee before I say this. Maybe you should take a sip of coffee too. I have my sock monkey. Every mug purchased from a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. And always uh, room temperature black coffee, sometimes with whiskey. Not today, but it really should be today. Let me tell you why. Um, so my 16-year-old son, who is my everything, is leaving for Atlanta tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., and I am a mess. There is not enough clonopin and whiskey in the world to calm me down right now. I'm trying to be calm, but when this camera goes off, there's gonna be a lot of shaking and perhaps crying. So I'm a little ridiculous. My son's friends think I'm ridiculous about how much I worship him, but uh, he's the greatest human I've ever met in my life. And I've never gone this long without hanging out with him. So he'll be gone for five days and we'll be back on Sunday, inshallah. Uh, he's going with his best friends to look at colleges. So they're going to have a great time. They're going indoor skydiving. They're going to a Atlanta Hawks game versus the Chicago Bulls. I only know the Chicago Bulls. Um, they're going to have a fantastic time, and so I'm really excited for him. But, you know, I homeschooled him for, I think, till he was 11 or 12. We spent every day together. We're very, very close, and I just, this will be a test to see how I can do uh, without my sidekick for five days. So, anyhow, and of course, my husband is um, a little nervous about all of it, too. He's probably nervous about having to take care of me during all of it. <laughs> so anyway, today, right now, there are so many shadows in this room right now. Look at this. I have a tree limb across my face. There's a lot going on. So I'm trying to stay over here so as not to be full of shadows. I just noticed some on my chest. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. We'll get through the week uh, of Isaac being in Atlanta. Look at me. We're doing it. We're doing it. So today's, this video, there'll be a few that I make today, hopefully, but this video is an unboxing video. I purchased, a, I should check the porch and see if there's more. I should check the porch. Hold on one moment. I'll be right back. How do I, there we go. Okay, friends, there was nothing on the porch. But I've purchased a few things from other thrifter resellers lately and just purchased some things on Etsy, some things from other, um, from some women owned businesses that I like to support. Um, so I have a little bit of a haul here today of some mail that I wanted to open with you. The first one is from Michael at The Cult of Vintage. I will put his link in the description below. He is uh, one of my favorite people to watch. He's new to making videos, but not at all new to YouTube. He's usually featured on other people's channels. He's an absolute hoot, and uh, just his facial expressions alone give me life. So uh, he, they had a sale. It was um, Misty, uh, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage Hunter, Michael, and I want to say... Oh, I don't want to get it wrong because I adore her. I want to say Michelle. 
right? Please be right. I'll put their links down below as well. They do uh, live sales on, oh my gosh, Jody, Monday or Tuesday? They do a chat on Monday. I watch it every Monday religiously. Uh, Misty will do uh, like a four-way chat or a three-way chat among thrifters and antiquers and so forth. And it's wonderful. So um, the they are the uh, Vintage Rescue Squad. And it's such a delight to watch. Um, Michael is, is also on there. But... Um, he has, uh, he does live sales with Misty and, I, as I said, Michelle on, oh God, I think it's Tuesdays. I'll put the links below. I'm so bad right now. Can we just blame it on 16 year old going to Atlanta brain, please? I did take a clonopin just a few minutes ago, but they really don't affect me much. I'll be honest. So, I'll always be honest with you. Um, so I bought from Michael this af... <laughs> you can't see it yet because we haven't opened it together. But this... Here's my package from Michael. I should probably hide his... It's probably rude of me. Put his address. So, anyhow. Maybe I can blur that out. Sorry, Michael. Or you can just send fan mail to Michael... Send him pixies. He loves pixies. He loves a lot of things. And he shows them on his channel. So anyway, he put he put up this afghan. Um, now my best friend Brad makes afghans. And he makes amazing afghans. But you gotta love a vintage... Ooh, let me move this over so you don't... You gotta love a vintage afghan every once in a while. And this one... My, the way Michael described it made me have to buy it because it, it is, uh, we'll see in a moment, but if I remember right, it was like a mishmash of rainbow colors and just executed differently. And I really like things to be different and not to be perfect. And so, okay, hopefully the microphone didn't get all of that. All right, he's packaged this real good, my friends. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to hold this up for you. There is no love note from Michael in here. Michael, I'm crazy in love with you. No, I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not a stalker, I promise, Michael. Happily married. Okay. You ready? You're not, you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna. You are not even gonna. Oh my goodness. This is huge. He was right. This is huge. I can't even, let me, where are we? Hello, can you even see me anymore? And let me flip it. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. He said it was, he said it was heavy. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. You don't even know. This is fabulous. Thank you so much, Michael. He gave me a deal on shipping too, which he did not need to do. So shipping looks like it was $25 and I think he gave me a small break on that which it, again he did not need to do I feel like I paid oh Michael what did I pay for this somewhere in the realm of $30 which was stealing it that was stealing it and this is going to go in my bedroom the rainbow colors are just amazing if you could feel how heavy this is this is like well, my dog is 50 pounds. I don't know. How many pounds does it say on? It should say on the package. I was going to pick up my dog for comparison. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that. Uh, let's see. Does it say how many pounds? 12 pounds. 
I believe 12 pounds. Goodness. So, yeah, that is amazing. Thank you, Michael. Next time, you know, I, I heart you, Jody. maybe on a note. Okay, coffee. Poor Michael. Probably thinks I'm stalking him. He's just a delight. He's an absolute delight. And I love people so much that I get, like, really into loving people. And a lot of people are like, what? Uh, we don't know each other. I'm like, we are humans. Of course we know each other. We're connected. We're stardust. So that was an awesome purchase. So I love purchasing from fellow um, YouTubers. And I have purchased a couple of other things. One from Thrift You. And when that comes in, I'll post that and put her their link. It's a mother-daughter uh, duo. And from the Niche Lady... I purchased something recently that should be coming in any minute now so I like doing that and maybe when I start some live sales I'll have some things that they want and so that's the only thrifting thing that I got uh, from I mean another wait that's the only thing I've that has come in that I've purchased from a fellow uh, reseller thrifter so but I'd like to open some other packages in front of you if that's okay so I love, love, love dresses. So this is, this is a LuLaRoe. I love buying them on eBay and I love getting leggings that barely match. Um, I like color, 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 color. And I found this dress company called Ombre, if I'm saying it right, A-M-B-R-I-E. And I'll put a link. My allergies are coming back, I'm sorry. And moving stuff around in this dusty house can be an issue. So, anyway, I love their dresses so much. I recently lost 30 pounds in um, three months. And before you congratulate me, I wasn't trying to. But now I'm trying to keep it up. So, um, and it's healthy, it's good for me. But one of the things that happened was all my <laughs> ombre dresses that I had been purchasing no longer fit. They're, they they kind of look like I'm... Pre I have giant boobs. Let's just start there. So when I wear a dress that's a little bit loose, it kind of falls and I look pregnant. And nothing wrong with being pregnant, but I'm not. So um, I had to go back and purchase some more dresses in smaller sizes but here's the thing, she only puts out dresses for so long, and then that style is gone. <sighs> so some of my dresses that I love so stinking much are no longer available. So I keep looking on eBay to try to find them. Uh, and I've put on eBay the ones that no longer fit me, um, except for two, because I just can't part with them. One of them is an Up dress, um, Disney's Up movie that I'm a huge fan of. And the other one is the Jungle Cruise dress. So what this company does, and it's uh, created by this woman, I'm not sure her name actually. Uh, she models for all the dresses. She makes Disney Park themed, theme inspired dresses. So they're not Disney because she can't do that. Disney would be mad, but they're Disney inspired. So I forget which ones I got here. I ordered um, like four. So I believe two of them are in here. If all four are in here, that would be amazing. So hold on one minute and I will show you. Okay, I'm back. I opened the package a little bit so you wouldn't have to hear it. And I blew my nose so you wouldn't have to hear it on camera. So Let's see. I, one, two. Okay. Two's good. Two's better than one. Here's her card that she puts with ombre. And she always gives a coupon for your next purchase. I always forget to use them. Always. What is it? 10%? Girl. 
Oh, yeah, 10%. I forget every time. I'll try to remember this time. Okay. So, both, there are two dresses. One is called Castle Fireworks, and the other one is called Not Our Dino. I wear the swing dresses. So, if you, um, I don't like sleeveless. I like the short sleeve. And all the swing dresses have pockets and a little flare to them. So let's look at the fireworks one first, shall we? Now what I do too is I ask my friends, I show my friends on Facebook the new dresses that she's putting out and I ask them to pick which dresses they want me to buy. And they do because I take like it used to be daily, but it's a little less now. I take pictures of my wardrobe every day. Like, it's just headless and just what I'm wearing. And I post them on Instagram. It's for me to show my progression and weight loss to me. But friends have been following along. And um, I tend to dress very colorfully and sometimes like a 10-year-old child. So, um, so my, you know, my friends... They like to help me dress colorfully and, and to encourage my creativity. So here is the fireworks with the castle at Disney World. And I will show you. I can't show it to you on, but there we have it. So they're like knee length, so I can wear my leggings with them or not. And they have pockets, pockets. And so you can swing around. So people picked this one, like overwhelmingly, my Facebook friends picked this one. The next one, only a few people picked, but I was having it. I, I was having it. I went with their first choice and then I went with my first choice. So this, I think is inspired by the Jurassic Park. Wait, what? Di no, there's a Disney dinosaur. Well, anyway, I'm not going to say the wrong things, but the Jeep ride at Disney that goes through and scares the bejesus out of you with dinosaurs everywhere. So there's my dinosaur dress. Whoo! And you can become an affiliate of Ombre. I haven't done that yet. I would like to because not just because, you know, I want discounts on my dresses because clearly I don't even use the discounts that I get, but because I believe in these dresses. They fit so nice. They are so soft. They, they just, oh. And the patterns, she comes out with new ones. I want to say, lately it's been goodness, at least every month. So I want to become an affiliate just because I want to share, you know, the awesomeness. I am telling you, those dresses each were $36. Um, and if you use the discount, and she has a loyalty program. I think she calls it a royalty program because of the princesses. And if you, for every dollar you spend, you get um, my, uh, money towards your next order. And I haven't even used that yet. So clearly I'm not trying to become an affiliate to, to make any money off you guys. <laughs> I'm, I just believe in these dresses. And it's not just dresses. I'm sorry. Men's shirts, um, leggings, children's clothing, shoes, handbags. I just buy the dresses. I should have said that from the beginning. I apologize. Well, you saw here. I mean, she even has masks, uh, the leggings, the bows. She only shows females on here, but she makes products for males. And for every size, every size, that's the most important thing to me. So she's very, um, has all different size models. And I love that. So that's another reason I like to support her. Okay, two more packages. Speaking of women I like to support, and I'll put all the links down here. My friend Janine. I love Janine to the core of my soul, though we barely see each other. I can't even remember the last time we saw each other. But we don't need to. We love each other. 
and we'll pick up where we left off when we see each other. She owns uh, the Bridges Healing Arts Center in Belfast. It's a new venture for her and a very clever one. She does Reiki there at the Arts Center and some other massage therapies that I don't understand. So, um, but I want, <laughs> I want. So I haven't been to go see her place yet. I told her not to send me this package that I would go to her place to see it. But um, I won a raffle on a live Facebook uh, raffle she had, and she mailed it to me. So, the brat. Um, I she sells some products there. So, uh, the I I haven't delved in yet. I haven't visited her place yet. So I don't want to misspeak. But I know she sells some skincare products. And uh, she does videos online where she shows herself using them and what they do for her. And she's, she's just an incredible lady. As a side note, she's also the woman who did our, it's not called a home study. When we adopted our son, once the adoption goes through and their home, I believe it's like after three months, you have to have a caseworker come in and make sure everything's going well. And she was our caseworker. Um, I feel like she also visited before. She did. She did. She visited. She did our home study. Janine, I'm sorry if I'm saying this all wrong. Anyway, quick story about Janine. I hope it's okay to tell this. She doesn't work in the field anymore. So, And how could she even get in trouble for this? It is apparently, a, it's not against the law, but it's against DHS rules to co-sleep with your children. I had read everywhere that co-sleeping with your adopted child is excessively important because that child has not been in your womb, felt your heartbeat. That child, once they come home, and he came home from Haiti, so quite, you know, a distance, and there was a lot of time in between visiting him that we needed to connect in that kind of a way. And you sleep fairly naked, you know, I, I would be f basically topless or just a bra on, and he would be naked and, you know, with his diaper on, and we would, he'd sleep on top of me, and I wouldn't move. I would not move. My husband couldn't believe it. For someone who moves a lot during the night, I never moved when that boy was on, to, was on me or I was holding him. And he was a year old when he came home. So really not a lot of danger. Um, I truly believed in co-sleeping, and I did not know if Janine did. So I remember showing her his crib and his room that he was going to be sleeping in to show her, you know, that we had done this. And I can't remember exactly how she did it. But she said something to me that made me know that she knew I was not using that crib. And it was kind of a nod, wink type of thing, like, I see you, girl. I know what you're doing with your parenting, and I believe that you're right, and I cannot say it. So we're going to just connect, and I'm going to pretend on paper I don't know about this co-sleeping that's going on. So she didn't do anything illegal. I didn't do anything illegal. Uh, it's just frowned upon in adoption and uh, DHS world, which is ridiculous. Um you know, scientifically, it, it shows that more connections are made through co-sleeping with your adopted kids. Um, I don't know about the other stuff, but I will suggest to anyone who's adopting a baby that you co-sleep with them. And my son, he actually didn't leave our bed until he was nine. I want to, yeah, I want to say he was nine when he decided he was going to sleep in his own big boy bed. And he, what they say in a lot, where are we going with this? 
I don't know, I'm supposed to show you Janine's stuff, but they say that, um, that kids who co-sleep are actually far more, uh, independent than those who don't in the beginning. I don't know what study that is. You could look it up. Maybe it's garbage, but I had read a lot about that at the time and it, it's so true. My son, when he left the bed at nine years old, was like done. Like he, people, a lot of people assume that they become really codependent on their parents when they co-sleep and, and you do a lot of that sort of nurturing parenting. It's, it's the opposite. And, uh, I try to like sneak in to give him cuddles sometimes and he, yeah, he's not having it. So Anywho, there's a little bit of parenting stuff there. But Janine, so Janine was just absolutely perfect as our caseworker. And I'll never forget her role in helping us bring our son home. It's, it's kind of like the, I guess, maybe like the doctor or midwife or nurse who helps you bring your baby into this world. Um, you just don't, you don't forget those things. So, Janine. Uh, she's, I did open it, but I haven't looked at it yet. So she sent me this package. I will put her link in the description. And, oh, there's her card. Oh, good, I can say more of what she does. It says Reiki, shamanic work, and creative arts, workshops and education, tools for mind, body, and spirit. With that said, I know the greatest freaking people on earth. I do, and she's one of them. I, God, I have such a good group. So anyway, I won this, which I don't know a lot about, but I'm willing to learn. She sells these products. So, Sungence? Ooh, what do I have here? A tester of original pearlizer. Oh dear my, I am going to be a sexy beast. And then some lotions, climate control, anti-aging moisturizer, three-in-one cleanser, uh, evening moisturizer, daytime moisturizer, lip balm. I am going to be so moisturized. Facial resurfacer. I need that. <laughs> okay, this is great. Thank you, my sweet Janine. I will try all of these and hopefully find something I like that I can purchase from you. So that bag is super sweet too. So I will put her link in the description. I also got this random and sweet postcard from my friend Elise. I hope she's okay with me reading it out loud. There's nothing, nothing, uh, no secrets in here, but it says, hi, Jody. just wanted to drop a line and say hi. Also, you're awesome. I am lucky to know you. See, I have the best people on earth. I truly do. They're way better than I am. They are so good at staying in touch. So she was at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So I love you, Elise. Thank you. That was so sweet. Okay, so lastly, this is a purchase I made on Etsy from... Oh, I should have opened this ahead of time. From a person, believe it to be a woman as well, um, who sells old photographs. And I purchase old photographs for my art. So, oh, look at the packaging. It is a woman. Enjoy, Sherry. Her place is called Vintage Nelly. So Vintage Nelly on Etsy, I'll put that in the description. Share the love, Vintage Nelly. So I take old photographs and make art with them. And if you want to see some of, I don't even know if I have anything up right now. I'll make some fresh art and start putting it up places. It would be under Studio 36 on my Instagram and my um, Studio 36 page, which is studio36bangor.net, because for some reason they didn't have .com. Okay, what did I get? Oh, I remember now. Okay, 
I got bulldog pictures. Look how small they are. And my and my fingernails that I bite constantly. It's not gonna stop, guys. Okay. Look at that. Is that showing up? There we go. So these will probably be in an art piece soon, but I honestly didn't know, I should have known how small they were. I didn't, so now I'm rethinking what I was going to do with them. Because I like to use bigger pictures. So that's on me though, that's not on Vintage Nelly. So that's it, that's it for today's unboxing of things. Thank you, Michael, thank you, Janine, thank you, Elise, thank you, Ombre Dresses. And thank you, uh, Vintage Nelly. And um, I have more videos coming up. I'm working really hard on getting the videos up of Pennsylvania, Springfield, and Camden, New Jersey. And um, I also have a challenge coming up. I might even do that one today. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of content for the channel. I have written lists and lists of things I want to do with you guys. And I love your support. You have, you guys, what a great community. What an amazing community. Don't make me cry. Because I'm already on the edge. <laughs> Want to take a last sip of coffee? Ah, okay. I love you all. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.